We're going to go from an f2.8 aperture to an f1.2 aperture using DaVinci Resolve Studio only. Okay, so I am in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.6 right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clip here of this couple that just got married walking. And we're gonna blur out the background. So you'll notice there's some, you know, if you look in the background here, there's some destructive foliage going on. There's some people right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to blur out the background here, but the trick is we obviously don't wanna blur out the couple, um, nor the, the things that are on the same, um, kind of the same distance from where they're at. So we don't wanna blur out this window. So what we need to do here and the problem we need to solve is we not only want to just blur out the whole background, but we wanna blur out, we want the very, very back back here, that's very far away to be blurred out the most. And then as we incrementally get closer to the couple, we want it to be blurred out less and less and less. And so in order to do that, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come on down and go to our color tab down here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to where our node tree is right here. We'll right click on it, go to add node, add serial. Okay, and then we're gonna come over to our effects tab here. We're gonna go up to the search and we're gonna search for depth. Okay, so we wanna apply the depth map to this node on the right. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that. So one thing to note here is when you apply the depth map, it is going to take up a lot of CPU and GPU on your machine. After we apply the effect, I'll show you a little trick to how you can still keep editing flawlessly in your editor and not have to worry about your computer crashing. Okay, so you'll notice as we've done that, that it's changed our, our clip to look gray and so the things that are the brightest are the things that in the foreground that it's detecting, and then everything in the background as it gets darker and darker, it's saying that those things are in the background there. What it's basically gonna do here is it's going to apply the most intensified part of the effect to where it's the brightest. We don't necessarily want our couple to be blurred out, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna go ahead and hit invert here. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is we want to make sure that none of the blur is being applied to our subject here. So we need to adjust a few things in our depth map to get them to look a lot more darker, which means that that effect won't be applied to that area that is dark. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my effect here and I'm going to check adjust map levels. We're gonna set the near limit on this one to 477. And again, this number or this threshold might be different depending on what your shot looks like. So just keep that in mind. Dot 477 is not a magic silver bullet. It just works well for this clip. And you'll notice how they're completely blacked out now, which means the bokeh is not gonna be applied to them. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna uncheck this depth map preview, and then it's going to change. We're not gonna see that depth map preview anymore. Okay, it's gonna go back to just the regular look now. So now I'm gonna come back over to my node tree. I'm gonna right click, go to add node, add serial. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, click on, so this is an important part here, is you wanna click on this blue square here, hold the mouse, drag a line over to this triangle and connect that as well. So what this is doing is it saying that we're still working within the depth map on this next node. Okay, so for this next effect, I'm gonna go back to my search engine up here. And then I'm gonna type in blur, and then we'll go to lens blur. Okay, so right off the bat here, when we look over at our clip here, this blur looks way too unrealistic to me. It looks like too much ghosting is going on. It just doesn't look very natural to me. So the trick is with this is that you don't wanna add a ton of blur. You just wanna add a very subtle amount that can make a big difference in how the image looks. So I'm gonna come back over to my effects here. Okay, so the blur size, I'm just gonna crank this ever so slightly down to 2.85, okay. And then if we go back over to our clip here, you'll notice the difference in how that looks. Okay, so let's look at these clips side by side. So you can definitely see a big difference here. It seems like more of the background is blurred out and it looks quite natural. And what's nice too is you don't really see any ghosting around the couple as well. It just feels a lot more natural to me. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's the effect. Now, let me just give you a little bit of a word of advice here. 
So this is very GPU and CPU heavy. So if I'm editing, and this is like one of a hundred clips that's in my timeline, then I still have a lot of editing to do. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to my nodes here. And then on the node where I apply the depth map and the blur, I'm going to just hit Command D on both of them. So I'll click on this one, hit Command D, disable, and I'll disable it on this one. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna take away the effect and still um, allow us to you know, play back the clip in real time and not have to worry about that effect lagging down our edit and you know, it's gonna save us a lot of time. And then once my edit is locked and everything's in place and I'm ready to export, then I come back into my color panel, I go back here and then I click on this clip here, hit Command D again, hit Command D again, and then I go over to export and export my clip or my video out. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you can stop down your aperture digitally in DaVinci Resolve. So we went from 2.8 in this clip to uh, making it look like it's at an F1.2.